Okay. Right, so you can see how beautiful, excuse the mess, because I haven't been back here in five weeks. I haven't cleaned out here in six, so this is what it is, but I just want to record a video really quick because, you know, Melbourne winter, days like this, they can kind of like disappear and like, like all that, that can disappear in like 10 minutes. Like, no joke, no joke, mate. Okay, hi everybody. Um, so I'm just standing in my courtyard right now because I just really want to take advantage of the sun. Um, I've been back in Melbourne for about a week and I'm just kind of feeling really like, eh, you know, post-holiday blues and all that. So anyway, uh, this video is, I want to talk about um, situationships and not just situationships, but well, my experience has been nothing but situationships but i'm talking about in regards to how it's been dating as a black woman in australia and um so i'm not going to say all of australia because for the past i well for the past three years that i've been here uh i've mostly spent all of my time in um melbourne so i started up in queensland i was only up there for like about six weeks and uh, yeah, so most of the time has been here in Melbourne. So I'm gonna sit down and get right into it with you guys. Situationship. So before I get into this video, um, situationship I feel like is a word I've been hearing kicked around like recently within the past year. Um, I think it's something I guess has to do with like the modern dating world that now that's kind of how things are. It's just like you know situationships and blah 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 but like it's the perfect word at least for me to describe my experiences when it comes to dating it's like you know everybody's working everybody's busy if you're like a 20 something or well I say that because that's the experience that I'm speaking from right now but you know with with work and especially in, I feel like any city um, dating can be well, living in any city dating can be like you know complicated um so my dating experience or my dating history prior to coming to australia wasn't really much because i was i guess what you can call a bit of a, a late bloomer i've always been you know focused on like work and you know just pretty like that was like my main i guess yeah, that's all I really cared about. I wasn't really like, you know, thinking about like the opposite sex like that. Um, not, I mean, not to say that, you know, I wasn't, but you know, it's just one of those things like, plus I was a bit like low self-esteem in high school and dealt with like issues when it came to like my weight. I didn't go to prom, um, homecoming. But then again, high school, that whole general thing, and that's when, mo cause you know, that's when most people start dating, right? Or you start being attracted to, like, you know, whoever you're attracted to. The stat in your teenage years, that usually happens, and it happened for me. But it just was, I guess, my, I don't know. I was also, I had the low self-esteem I was dealing with, but at the same time, I was pretty ambitious, and I was just kind of like, ooh, like I was so ready to get out of my small town and get out of high school. Um, which, in, you know, because I knew it was going to be uh, popping in college, so, you know. Okay, so, yeah, so pretty much Australia dating as a black woman. Okay, I'm going to be real with you and say that um, the dating scene here, and I'm speaking from my experience, um, for me, I've been catching L's. Like, for real, I've been catching, I, I caught L's. Let's see, I pretty much had L's. I had fun, I had some fun as well, but for the most part, you know, just some L's. But like, you know, I look at it all as, you know, learnings, their losses, but their learning experiences as well. So pretty much my whole experience of dating. Like right now, I'm not using um, any dating apps. I've deleted them. Um, Tinder was pretty much I had a Tinder spree that's what I like to call it from the first time I downloaded it which was 2015 up until the beginning of this year 
and um so first off i'm going to say and this is not anything new i think most black women who have used tinder or any dating app we kind of i mean everybody has a similar experience in some way shape and form like when it comes to um you know swiping oh being a black woman on these apps completely different situation i mean compared to my white friends i get way less activity i also find that i rarely match with guys outside of my race same for me a lot of my matches are indian women i did read somewhere that the people that do worse on the apps are asian men and black women well it's great white people finally have an advantage somewhere people <laughs> just in general swiping Australia see why do 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 Indian Indian Southeast Asian uh, maybe Korean why do why do why do why do why do black dude why do why do why do why do so that's that's pretty much what the experience for me has been which is cool because like you know for me I'll date anybody you know, I do have my preference or bias, if you want to call it, because like it kind of is when it comes to like you know black men, uh, whether you're any any black man in the diaspora. But you know, like everybody's good looking and everybody has their you know qualities and personalities can be a winner for me at the end of the day. I used to think people that use that stuff that like they were losers. I know that's so judgmental of me, but I was judging hard. And like I just never really looked at it. I just was like, oh that's so sad that this is what we have to resort to now. But like this is what it is. Like dating eight apps, this is how it is like now. Like everybody uses it. Nobody's ashamed. I wasn't ashamed once I got into it. Um, because it's like, you know, if you're at work I mean it depends. Like I for me, my job, I work a lot and I'm working in the kitchen and it's like high prop pressure and high volume and at least with hospitality culture here in um, Australia and just any hospitality culture community most people interact with one another so of course like that's who you're going to like maybe date people within that realm and for me like the places that I work it just wasn't like that though um, so I kind of was like, you know, Tinder, hey, is a way to meet people and, you know, and it's fun, you know, for a while. Um, but then you realize that Tinder is full of just, you know, fuck boys. I mean, not all of them. I'm sure there's some really nice people. I've heard of some really nice, you know, stories of people meeting and blah, 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 blah. But like, just from my experience, it was like... Nah, it didn't really. I had to finally just delete it because I felt like it was starting to become too much of a distraction. And the people that I did meet, which that's going to have to be another video as far as like primarily. So just to say real quick, like everybody that I have dated or met were men of color. Um, and not to say that, you know, I didn't talk to any like white guys or whoever from wherever, but like just nothing really, nothing really clicked. Um, enough that I was like going to meet up with them and nothing ever came of it and to be honest I don't really think they're checking for us out here like that anyway just pretty much African men have been my experience here and that's that's a whole nother video that's gonna be a whole nother video like I said but um yeah so yeah just tender just that whole thing the the time that i put into it it was fun it's exciting for a little bit and then gets to the point where i'm like oh i'm bored i'm just swiping i'm just swiping and finally i was like you know what now nah, i'm just gonna do me for a while and um yeah that's pretty much what i have to say about that like australia in general there are or i wouldn't say they're standard because like at like Australia is becoming slowly, but it is becoming very more diverse. Um, you're starting to see a lot more um, different narratives coming um, into play, whether it's like through the media, just walking around Melbourne, like, it, you know, it's just like any other city, um, in my opinion. So, you know, you have that multiculturalism coming through but in general like if I had to put like you know somebody a woman on a pedestal and say that this was like the benchmark or this is like the average benchmark I would say it would probably be um, white 
female, blonde, blonde hair, yeah, blue eyes. Basically, yeah, I would say that that's still their standard. Again, my opinion, I don't want anybody comment for me in comments, or which I'm sure will happen, but you know, like I said, my opinion. Um, and this what and this is based off of you know yes of course things like magazines really kind of like done up and I feel like when I say like you know the woman that's on that pedestal she's very done up this is the standard kind of beauty like very you know just kind of I don't know I don't want to say model model ish looks yeah model ish looks I'll say that um, I don't want to use the word basic it's your standard basic average you know white girl you know with the makeup very gorgeous like that i feel like that's the standard of beauty here um there's definitely um yeah you definitely see a lot of um interracial couples particularly um of course you know um white male asian woman and the other way around asian asian man um uh white woman um i don't often see many um black couple as far as like black men and black women don't really run into that that often um but i guess you know it's kind of like a it is very common off obviously as it is in many other places to see um black men and white women um so it's just, just an observation like you know i like i kind of feel like people you have the right to date and love especially love whoever you want to love um but at the same there are patterns that you know you can't help but notice yeah, I definitely also had a few experiences where um, some of the black guys that I did date, um, I was like maybe their first, I was either their first or second like actual black woman that they've dated, some guys here in Australia. So that was definitely interesting. Um, that'll be the next video. I, I can't, It'll. this will be too long of a video if I try to break down all the stories that I have for you guys and just sharing some of my experience so again I say all this to say that you know you might have a different experience coming here like everybody's not going to have the same experience okay so um, just keep that in mind so to wrap this video up I would say in general that coming here as a black woman um, to date in Australia but from my experience it's been okay it's just been okay it hasn't been anything I'm still single so but then again I don't really have a goal to like not be single it's more of a goal to you know it's all about meeting and connecting with people um, on a, like on a real level so I would say that hasn't happened um, but you know I have seen some people who have you know you know dated or here successfully um you know i've seen some of those couples so i'm like you know i kind of feel like it's it's kind of what you make it but i wouldn't rely on tinder tinder might be a bit disappointing yeah, i'll be coming at you with another video and we're going to be getting into what it's like dating african men here in australia because i got some stories for you I got them. Feel free to leave any comments if anybody has been to Australia and they've dated. Um, I'd love to find out what your experiences were. Um, not even just black women, any woman of color, anybody. I would just like to, you know, see what anybody. I'd love to hear what other people's experiences are. So, um, yeah, anyway, um, leave comments, um, like, and subscribe. And I will talk to you peeps soon. Bye. Have a great day.